Welcome back to TrumpetTransfer.com and this is the Overtone Series for Beginners video. So before we dig into how the Overtone Series relates to partials, I want to make sure you understand the valve combinations and how they move down chromatically. So I'm going to have you start with your trumpet in hand. Um, go ahead and start on a low C home bass like we talked about and I'm going to have you play down chromatically um, starting in low C then to B natural then B flat and all the way down to low F sharp underneath the staff. So we're going to have the music projected on the screen with a recording and the metronome going on in the background. So I just want you to play through that real quick and then we'll dig into the overtones. One, two, ready. Great. You remember your valve combinations. So the next thing I want to really quick review with you is scale degrees. So all that means is I'm talking about when I say the fifth above something, that just means the fifth note in that key signature once you start on that note. So let's play really quick a concert B flat major scale, which is going to start on home bass. By the way, home bass for all these instruments is going to be a concert B flat. So for us, that's a C, right? So go ahead and start and we're going to play half notes for each one. And I want you to say what scale degree it is before you play it. So let's start. C is the first scale degree or the root. Go ahead and play a C. Let's do that with a little bit better tone quality. Here's the root again, first scale degree. Good. Now, second scale degree is a D, and we're going to kick out that third valve ring, right? Because it's always sharp. Second scale degree, two, here's D. Third, E. Fourth, F. Fifth, G. Sixth, A. Seventh, B natural, second vowel. And the octave or another one or eight, those are all different ways to say high C. So there you go. So when I say the fifth of a note, or if I'm talking about the third or the second or whatever, that's all we're talking about. Okay? So there's scale degrees for you. So overtone series. Come back to home base, low C. Find it for me. Ready? And. Beautiful. There we go. So I want you to play up the partials that start on home base on low C with no vowels down and we're going to see which ones we get. The first one, as you know, is low C. Let's play one partial above that. It's going to be a fifth above C. That's going to be a G. Let's hear it. Very good. All right. The next partial above that is going to be the octave. That's going to be third space high C. Then we're going to go for two more partials. You may be able to get them, you may not. It'll be easier on a low brass instrument with a bigger mouthpiece. But for this one right now, see if you can get fourth space high E. It's going to be the third scale degree, right? It's the third of a C scale. High E, way up there. See if you can get it. And the last note that we're going to go for is high G, which sits on top of the staff. See if you can get that. That's the fifth, right? So we have the root low C, home base, then a fifth, then the root again, then a third, and then another fifth. See if you can play the high G. It's a bit of a stretch for me too. See if you can get it. Good. So now I want you to play each of those notes straight through, um, all the way up and down through those partials, starting on a low C. Here we go. All right, we're going to play all of the partials above home base, concert B flat, low C, no vowels down. We're going to play all the way up to high G and back down. Here we go. Uh -huh. Great. 
Now that you know how all of the overtones and partials line up above home base, low C, I'm going to have you work down that valve combination that we worked on at the very beginning of this video. So we started with open, home base. Next, I'm going to have you play the overtones above B natural. Then we're going to go to B flat, A, A flat, all the way down uh, chromatically. So here's the awesome thing. Now that you've got that in your ear, one, five, one, three, five, three, one, five, one, all of those, every time you start on a new note, it's going to be the same intervals every time. So if you keep that in your ear, that's going to help you a lot as you listen and play through all the rest of these. Also remember that because we're going lower chromatically, each of these partials is going to be a little bit easier to hit because we won't be going quite so high. So if you couldn't make the high G, that's okay. It's going to be easier as we go down. So they're going to, again, display on the screen. Um, if you want to print out the sheet music for it on the Overtone series page on our website, this worksheet is available for you to print out for free. It's all yours. Um, I wrote it so there's no copyright infringement or anything. Go ahead. Um, and then you can work along with us or you can just play along with the video too. So go ahead and grab a trumpet and we're going to play down all the overtones. We'll play C again, the overtones starting on C, and then we'll work all the way down. Okay? Here we go. All the way through, all the overtones of every valve combination. <laughs> second vowel. All right, and first vowel starting on B flat. for first and second valve together, starting on low A. Here's the overtones for second and third valve, starting on A flat. Here's the overtones for first and third valve starting on low G. And we'll go ahead and kick out third valve ring for all of these since that valve combination is always sharp. Here's low G. <laughs> overtone series for one, two, and three all down. We're also going to kick out third valve ring for these since they're always sharp, starting on low F sharp. All right, nice job. So you've now played through all of the beginner overtones at least. Like I said, there's a bunch way above the staff, but they're really hard to play. And if you're a young musician, then those aren't going to necessarily be super achievable for you yet. You will be someday, but this is a good starting point for us. Something you might have noticed, especially if you printed out our worksheet, is that several of these notes you can actually play with a couple of different fingerings. Like you might have noticed G, the second partial above C, right? So that's going to be the second partial there. You can also play it with one and three because that's the octave above low G. There's a bunch of notes that you can play with multiple fingerings and the overtone series is how you can learn and figure those out. So here's where everything gets really awesome. Not only does having learned that overtone series, is that going to help you in trumpet playing, but the same overtone series applies to every brass instrument. So for example, I'm gonna play a quick through the open overtone series on my trumpet here. So there's all of those starting on home base. I also have with me a euphonium. 
And I can also play the Overtone series starting on home base, which is still a concert B-flat. It's called B-flat because euphonium doesn't transpose, like that's a B-flat trumpet. This is just a C euphonium. So here's the exact same Overtone series starting on home base for euphonium. <laughs> exactly the same. It's all the same partials. It sounds the same in your ear and you're going to know all of your fingerings. Now the main difference is you're going to have to learn bass clef in order to learn bass clef instruments like the low things are, but the overtone series is going to unlock so much for you. So your next step is to now work on reading bass clef. That's going to be one of the tabs in our website. And then um, find a low thing, grab an instrument, that's what I call these is low things, whether it's a trombone or a euphonium or a beautiful tuba, go ahead and grab one of those and then dig into our how to hold those instruments and how to make your first sounds on those instruments. I'm so excited for you. Now you know so much more about brass playing and you are locked and loaded and ready to learn about low brass. All right, let's move on. Grab an instrument and let's go.